you know, I can overlook a fault like your face. <laughs> I can overlook how ugly your face is to love you. We are dropped right back into the epicenter of the drama with Uche and Aaliyah and Lydia. Oh, and um, like at first, I, I was really like, this is not drama. And then Lydia really amped it up for me. She, look, I think <laughs> she was genuinely just excited. There's a piece of what she was doing that was like, I'm excited to like talk to you about this guy that like, I know. And like, they're probably yeah. bored as fuck. They're like, this is something you need to talk about. Absolutely. But holy shit, stop talking. <laughs> I, stop talking. I like, look. Lydia is not too much, but she does need to figure out, like, emotionally how much she shares and, like, what's appropriate at the right time. Because this could have been a conversation that they have two months from now if they break up. Like, I don't care what his car is. I will yeah. find out. I hope that she found a way out of that conversation because I, I literally felt trapped with her. I was like, please st stop, 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 stop. It was brutal. And, like... Again, no one has a villain edit. Like, it's just people and their, like, emotional needs laid bare for us. Yeah. Well, and everyone, <laughs> everyone's crying in this episode. Uche's crying. Aaliyah's crying. Okay, Lydia's crying. Like, Why is he crying? This doesn't seem like a big deal. I understand he might be like, oh, no, I might have fucked this up. But if it's not a big deal, why are you this worried? And I'm not saying I, he did anything wrong. I'm just saying he was crying a lot. And I was like, I think he was worried about maybe worried about losing Aaliyah. I, I it was it. They didn't really fully like. But also maybe set the he stage. met Lydia and was like, oh, God it's like I know it, what's Lydia. happening in those women's quarters. I know what's happening. Especially um, when but, she was like, I've hung out with him. I've hung out with his friends. You're gonna be fine. They're gonna like you. It's like stop. Stacy's cream proposal suit. Can we talk about that? loved it i loved it and the sparkly sandals like what a great look you it know was cool. i it wasn't expected i liked it and then they get engaged izzy and stacy and it is actually cute fine it's stacy renee snyder will you marry me it's cute they seem to genuinely like each other um and then <laughs> we get uh, uh, the high of the proposal Mm -hmm. and then the low of the next conversation with chris and johnny we need to be selfish today and worry about myself and choose someone who who always chooses me mm -hmm. uh, my notes literally are like chris no oh wait question mark yeah yes chris yes chris Yes. So, okay. I went into it assuming that he was going to get engaged with her because yeah. this show tends to, in the past, like, obviously there've been love triangles, love quadrilaterals in past seasons, and people will like say they made a mistake and they'll get back of with course. one person, whatever. Like it happens a lot. And usually the engagement just happens because they want to stay on the show, right? Like you have, you basically Wasn't have to get engaged. Couple was that last season that I heard about where they went back and got to get, got back together? So yeah, that, that was a little different because oh, okay. he, he was between two women, picked one woman, they met and she, she, they, they were not good together at all. Okay. They broke up and then he went back to oh, the woman and then he was like, I made, ballsy. I fucked up and they ended up getting married. Oh, so, you okay. know, sometimes it works out True so like love. but in this in this case like in that case he actively tried that relationship they legitimately realized they weren't compatible okay he like, took a step back and yes of course she still felt like second best which of course like that's normal to feel like you're a second choice because you kind of are yeah but in that case it there was more it felt like there was more thought put into it where okay. as here like you said she basically like hours later was like jk i actually want to be with you Forever. and so i was like yeah and i was like really happy that chris was like nah chris on his own johnny back to single i uh, you have to fill me in on like when that happens on the show do they leave so they never actually show anyone exiting the pods and maybe that's because they don't ever want like a door to open and sunlight to accidentally come into the <laughs> there's box. no sun are you kidding 
kidding. But, They're underground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody lens. But what happens usually is that um, after everyone leaves the pods, they they basically do like a sort of like everybody meets each other at some resort, right? Okay. Um, and, and then after that, everybody, like the couples move into their own little apartments and see what it's like actually living together, et cetera. But at that sort of time at the resort, that's when people meet like, oh, here's what your like second choice looks like. What? Here's what, so what? yes. So they're going to meet. So like, and this is what's interesting is usually this is part of the reason that they want everyone to get into a couple because that ensures that they that everyone's like second option will oh be at the resort God. so they'll meet each other so like i don't necessarily think that part is going to be dramatic but there's always some sort of excuse for there to be a party where like people who aren't in couples but from the pods come to the party Shut up. so Shut they might up. do it yeah so they might do it at the resort this year i'm not sure but they'll be like oh it's like so-and-so's birthday so like everyone's at the oh party and so like god I mean, you might have seen it in the coming attractions, but there's definitely going to be a party where like Johnny and Chris are both there. Like that's going to happen. So yeah. So you're not going to see them officially leave the pods, but they will pop up in the like real world and it's going to cool. be messy. Yeah. That sounds awful. I know. Okay. <laughs> are you considering watching the rest of the season on like 2.0 speed instead of 1.5? You know, Netflix only goes up to 1.5 really yeah they used to go higher and i think they were like we can't we can't do this because mm. they pay for you will show. watch our content in, in the <laughs> way it was intended for this. we paid for this and you're gonna watch it you sit down and watch that content um okay then this Ooh. is when my notes start going lydia why three months ago okay, i want to be honest with you last mm -hmm. time you saw the show best back in january mm -hmm. this year mm -hmm. And we slept together and all that stuff. But like in this case, Aaliyah, you are the son. Go find like someone who really like appreciates you, approaches yeah. you honestly, like you feel safe and comfortable with. Maybe Chris. Did Aaliyah and Chris meet? They probably did, but I think everyone meets everyone, but they just don't show. Oh, because now of them. I kind of feel like maybe they would be like a, a soft match. It's possible, maybe. Like they both are like softer, sweeter. I feel like. Anyway, yeah, I could, I could see it, but I would be curious to see what a conversation between them looked like. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I definitely wrote in my notes, oof, please run. And it's not because there's like villains here, but it's yeah. just because like you just met and it is already chaos. Just it's just too go. complicated. Like that, <laughs> just go. you know, we talked about in a previous episode, like where's the line of like, this is, you can make the choice. Like this is across the line for plenty of people of like, yeah. I already, we haven't even touched on family drama and we're dealing with this stuff. I, Oof. We're still in and the pods. We're still in the pods. Okay, that's <laughs> something else that I want to point out. I, I might be misremembering this, but it feels like we have been in the pods for a really long time. I want to say that in past seasons, like I think episode three might be the last, I might be misremembering this, oh. but it just, it feels like they are, given that we only have three actual couples i'm like we are in the pods for a really long time it's bizarre but i this is a bit of a tangent but before okay. we get away from alia and uche i wrote down a quote because i thought it was so wild that netflix chose to keep this in alia literally said in talking about how she has to be with lydia and it's hard for her knowing the history now i'm in a cage with her oh, yeah and i'm like literally she is talking about the shitty living conditions basically yeah like she like, can't get distance from lydia and so it's just like in her ear all day every day when she's not in the pods like netflix has seen the headlines and stories about why did they keep that in i'm i'm anyway that was a uh, that was revealing yeah, that was that was weird um the other thing i wrote down uh, under poor Aaliyah, and then i did a little heart was um now it's february lydia before it was January. Now it's February. When did you guys sleep together? <laughs> my God. It's so surreal. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then she and 
Izzy get for real engaged again for real this time like they see each other I am less sure that they are immediately vibing unlike TJ and Taylor uh J JP JP, JP and, Taylor. and Taylor like so Izzy and yeah Cece, I felt a little more hesitant but I still think they like each other then we jump to Milton and Lydia again this show is it is like a literal roller coaster where it's just like it takes you up and it drops you down and it takes you up and it drops you down because we get that high moment where like maybe people are happy and have found love to I don't know guy you're 24 yeah like that was my real overriding feeling is like I'm so glad he's getting emotionally real and opening up to someone but like Lydia just wants to get married so bad. Yeah, this this whole conversation felt really weird to me because I I always felt like he was seconds away from just being like, yeah, I'm I'm gonna head out. Like, oh my god, me like, too. Yeah, but like, he this just is like too much work. I don't wanna. Woof. They get engaged. Can you be my Puerto Rican wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will be your Puerto Rican wife. <laughs> I'm like serious, like I mean, like forever. Yeah, it feels like a big, a bit, a little bit of a shrug because it just feels. Oh. I don't. It doesn't feel like Milton is into this. I'm I, like, and I don't. Well, he's not. He's yeah. Like, Should I say what the hell and take a big risk? No, man, not with marriage, not with your emotional well-being at the age of twenty-four with an older partner, like. That's, we're at the point where I'm like, hey, there, you may be at the same level of emotional maturity, but you're not at the same level of life maturity and relationship maturity. And like, I just don't want them to get married. I don't either. Sorry. And I, those, that's why we alluded earlier to the fact that there are three couples. Those are the three couples. It's, there's Izzy and Stacy, Lydia and Milton and JP and Taylor. Those are the officially engaged folks. And then we and ended the episode. We're queued up for what seems like another engagement. Uche is still in this. He is like heading in to propose to his future wife, Aaliyah. He is like dedicated, committed. He's like, we've been up and down. There's been this drama, but like, that's my future wife, right? He's fully in this and I'm in this with him. And guess who isn't in this? Aaliyah. Oh, yeah. She gone. And as as much credit as I gave to the production folks to setting up that end of episode three twist, why did they name this episode She's Gone? Right, because I was waiting I for legit, someone to go. It ruined the surprise. I was like, I legitimately would have been shocked by this if the I title agree. was not She's Gone. The so. title was awful because, yeah, it got to like, once it wasn't Milton and Lydia, I was like, well, it has to be Aaliyah, but like that also yeah. doesn't really make sense because they seem to be vibing. And then for them to just be like, she's gone. She yeah. has chosen to end the experiment. I know the fucking big brother voice just like, like booming from the You know, in the booth, they were like, I get to say it. No, I want to say it. No, I want to <laughs> say it. <laughs> so, Violet, we have watched and analyzed your first four episodes of love is blind how are you feeling how drained of energy are you on a scale of zero to after <laughs> i could literally eat a horse right now i am so drained so mentally exhausted and i hate myself for wanting to know what happens because none of this matters and it's nonsense. And half of it slash 75% of it is written and produced. Yeah. They but really know how to, know. yeah, they know how to pull you in. I mean, it's, look, uh, the thing this reminded me is that for all the cool shit I like and all the niche stuff I'm into, I am a basic bitch who loves a rom-com. And when I see an engagement, I'm like, yay. Yeah. I mean, there are, for all of... <laughs> Or as contrived as we know that it is, there are some genuinely cute moments throughout yeah. this show. Um, 
And hey, like there are some couples who are still together, which that doesn't necessarily mean they're in happy no. marriages, but some of them probably are and good for them. I mean, the so, odds are decent because yeah. look, at the end of the day, is this that radically different from meeting people on apps and having those canned conversations within your own quote unquote pod until you meet? It's, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm just saying I expected a lot more mental unwellness. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, how would you design an actual love is blind? It would be like a Skinner box where you have like no senses and you just like perceive words on a screen. No, wait, it's like Tinder. But see, here's here's the thing though. Doesn't the phrase love is blind mean like, oh, I love this person, so I like overlook some faults or whatever? I think so. So that's literally not even like it has you nothing know, to do with. You know, I can with... overlook a fault like your face. <laughs> I can overlook how ugly your face is to love you. Yeah, I don't. So that's why I'm saying like I don't even know what they're actually asking. Like, what? What? <laughs> What's the what they're asking? Here's here's my thesis on the show. Having watched four whole episodes, which was more than four hours, I will tell you, that was more than four hours. Um. How little information do you need to marry someone? That's what the show could be called. Yes. Yes. Can you have a successful relationship in X number of, in, in, the, in these specific circumstances? Like they are yep. testing this specific circumstance. It has nothing to do with that, with the phrase love is blind. It doesn't. It's all about under these very controlled conditions with people we have. Oh my God, it is an experiment. It is, but not for the, what they're claiming it is. Oh my yes. God, but it is a scientific experiment. It's just, we're all part of the experiment. Yeah, That's because they are controlling a, all an the incredible variable. amount Every of shit. Variable, yeah. basically. Every, because I bet they even, uh, like when you're allowed to go in the pod, like they probably yeah. control everything about the Oh, schedule. absolutely. So I guess Love is Blind is a snappier title than can you fall in love after dating somebody without seeing them for two weeks and getting engaged right away? And, you know, it's, I get that they're trying to be quippy, but Look, I've got it's... one. How little data. Yes. And welcome da, da, back da, da, to da, 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 how little data da, 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 does it take to sign your life up with somebody else forever? <laughs> <laughs>